In this video, we will be studying about how the central bank controls the flow of credit in the economy. See, there are two instruments to, through which the central bank controls the flow of credit. One are the quantitative. The second are the qualitative instruments. In this video, we will be discussing about the quantitative instruments of credit control. Right? So you have to write if it comes how the central bank control flow of credit in the economy or both of these instruments or what are the principal instruments of monetary policy of the central bank then also the both of these instruments you will discuss. The first we will learn about is your bank rate. See bank rate it is the rate at which the commercial bank borrows the money to the central bank RBI to fulfill their long term needs so currently your bank rate current bank rate is 6.75% See there sometimes what happens your commercial banks feel the shortage there end up, there is a huge credit demand but the central bank do not have money to give it to the people so at that point of time if there is shortage with the commercial bank they can go to the central bank and ask for the loan or they can borrow the uh, money from the central bank so the rate at which they borrow the money from the central bank is the bank rate so currently the bank rate is 6.75% see what happens how the uh, central bank controls this credit flow if they increase bank rate if the bank rate is increased which means the central bank has to pay more interest on what uh, commercial banks have to pay more interest on what they borrow in that case they will reduce the credit flow they do they won't be able to take the loan from the central bank or they will take a lesser loan from the central bank so this will ultimately reduce the credit flow in the economy the second is your open market operations Now what central bank do is they indulge into the buy or sell of securities, the government securities. They can buy and sell the government securities. So they indulge into the buying and selling of the government securities in the open market. So if they sell the securities in the market, what will happen? People will take the shares and they will give the money to the central bank so what happens the cash from the economy is going to the RBI because if RBI will sell securities the cash will go to the RBI. People will pay the cash in respect of purchasing the securities from the RBI. So what will happen? The flow of cash 
in the economy will reduce as the cash will be uh, held with the RBI then so in this way it will reduces credit flow and if the central bank buy the security if the central bank will buy the security from the public what will happen the central bank have to give the cash to the public so in this way the flow of cash will increase in the market in the economy will increase so this will lead to the more credit multiplier in this way it affects the credit flow of credit in the economy the third one we have is cash reserve ratio now what is cash reserve ratio crr refers to that percentage of deposits with the commercial bank which these banks are legally required to keep as reserve with the central bank so see if there is a deposit of 10000 in the commercial bank the state bank of india and crr is let's say 20% so rupees 2000 they have to keep send it to the central bank as reserve so this cash reserve ratio is crr refers to that percent of deposits with the commercial bank which these banks are legally required to keep as reserve with the central bank so this 2000 is the crr amount the reserve amount that will be sent by the commercial banks to the central banks on the deposits they get so this is how if your crr increases there will be less money now 8000 is only the amount left with the commercial banks to give credits so if this percentage increases there will be the flow of credit will reduce in the market if crr increases the flow of credit reduces in the market now what is the statutory liquidity ratio see this is the ratio if there are 20,000 of deposit with the commercial bank and your SLR is let's say 30% which means rupees 6000 so rupees 6000 commercial banks have to keep in the form of cash with them on the daily basis so they have to maintain the statutory liquidity ratio means they have to keep the deposit into the liquid in the form of the liquid assets up to the 30 percent of the deposits they have so your slr it is the minimum percentage of deposits with the commercial bank which these are legally required to keep in the form specified 
liquid assets as reserves with themselves and see if your SLR increases again your credit creation or the flow of credit will decrease because the, there will be more cash whereas credit creation is done from account to account from demand deposits to demand deposits i will explain you in the coming video but for now you understand if your statutory liquidity ratio increases your credit creation will decrease in the market now see what are the repo rates we did about the bank rate in this video the bank rate was the interest rate that the central bank charges from the commercial banks on giving loan to the commercial banks right but that was for a long period of time that was for one year two year three years but what is repo rate see it is the interest rate at which your commercial banks can borrow from the central bank to meet their short term needs your bank rate and your repo rate is same but your bank rate is for the long term and your repo rate is for the short term now it is fixed just for 7 days your short term period is 7 days if you take loan on the repo rate you need to repay that loan loan within the 7 days to the central bank so now if the central banks want to increase the credit flow in the market what we will, they will do they will reduce the repo rate because the interest rate is reduced what commercial bank will do they will take more and more loans from the commercial uh, from the central bank and do the credit creations so this is the repo rate the sixth is your reverse repo rate now see what is reverse repo rate the previous rates we did your bank rate and your repo rate we did that if you send if your commercial bank borrows money the interest rate charged by the central bank now what is reverse repo rate if the commercial bank deposits their fund with the central bank and the central bank on that give the interest to the commercial bank is your reverse repo rate so it is the interest rate at which the commercial banks can deposit their funds with the central bank central bank so the previous rates we did was they used to borrow the money from the central bank and they have to pay the interest but this is the rate in which the central uh, commercial banks get the interest from the central bank on depositing the funds with them now what happens if the RR is increased by the central bank more and more funds will be deposited by the commercial bank to the central bank and they will create credit less so this will reduce the credit flow in the economy or vice versa i hope you have understood the quantitative instruments now in the next video we will be studying about the qualitative instruments i hope you like the video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.